All around the world, there are athletes making millions of dollars, there's Social Tamiuka making his fortune, playing cricket and Serena Williams breaking in the dough on the tennis court. However, there is one athlete with a net worth higher than both of them combined, whether you call it football or soccer, there are chances that you've heard of Cristiano Ronaldo, he's the second highest paid athlete in the world right now. And he has been ranked as the world's most famous athlete every year. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at his career, his fortune, and how exactly Cristiano Ronaldo spent his billions. Welcome to Highest Luxury, the home of the billionaires. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe, and I know you can do that in less than 5 seconds. Thanks for doing that for me. Alright, let's get started. Cristiano Ronaldo has a classic rags to riches story, which might have had quite an influence on how he spends his money. As an adult he grew up in poverty in Portugal, sharing a single bedroom with three of his siblings. By the age of 14, it was decided that he was good enough to play semi-professionally, so he decided to drop out of school, which to many people, that would be a questionable move. But it worked out pretty well for Cristiano in 2019. Later that year, Cristiano made an outstanding $109 million, the highest paid amount of his career in a single year. In 2018, he signed a four-years contract with Juventus, promising him $64 million a year. Not only was he sent with an incredible salary, Juventus also paid him a $117 million transfer fee. It's pretty hard to imagine making $117 million, just signing your name on a little piece of paper. But naturally, when you're a famous athlete, playing isn't your only way to make money on average. Cristiano makes $44 million a year, just from his endorsements, which include companies like Clean Healthcare, Tag Hour, Overlife and Toyota. His biggest contract however, is with Nike. The contract is expected to earn him a billion dollars in his lifetime, extended far beyond his playing career. Considering the fact that Cristiano Ronaldo has the most Instagram followers in the world, I guess it should come as no surprise that companies would be willing to pay him such an incredible amount. In addition to making money off his sports career, Cristiano has gone on to open a fair amount of businesses to supplement his income. He owns two hotels, each called Pestiana CR7, which are located in Lisbon and Fushal, Portugal. The hotel sports modern architecture and lighting with a football theme, complete with stadium pictures turf with black and white sports photos. He also opened a hair transplant clinic called Inspira, in Spain, and runs his own lifestyle and clothing company called CR7, so he has his money tied up in several businesses while he makes a fortune playing football. But what will you even do with $100 million a year? Let me know in the comment box below. Meanwhile, if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, I guess you will spend most of it on homes. He owns over $27 million homes worth of properties around the world. His most recent home, a double villa in Turin, Italy, is worth millions of dollars. One villa wasn't quite enough, so he opted for two connecting villas that overlook the city on the end of a private street. The home has eight bedrooms, an indoor and outdoor pool, a private garden, an indoor gym and dozens of fireplaces to complement the vintage aesthetic of the home. Naturally, this isn't the only house he owns. Cristiano also owns an apartment in Trump Tower in New York City, which cost him $18.5 million. The New York apartment is the polar opposite of his children's home. While his children's home is embellished with an old-world flair, the Trump Tower apartment took a much different approach. The home is styled in the maximalist style of Juan Pablo Molino, which includes several interesting patents, lots of marble and lots of gold. The apartment has three bedrooms, two spa-like bathrooms, and 2,510 feet of living space that overlooks New York with undisturbed views of Central Park and the Hudson River. He also owns a vacation home in Spain, located in Marabella, the 1.6 million villa can be found in a brand new exclusive development known as the Superstars cul-de-sac. Sounds like a place I will like to live. Meanwhile, this home is incredibly modern with stark white features, high ceilings, and panoramic windows. The master suite includes a huge walk-in closet, a patio, and stunning views of the ocean. Of course, he can also look at the ocean from his infinity pool or sunny deck if he feels like giving himself time to truly relax. The home is also complete with a wine cellar and a full cinema. In addition to collecting homes, Cristiano is a huge fan of collecting cars. And the more expensive, the better, 
He currently owns 19 luxury vehicles worth millions of dollars. Just take a look at a few of the cars he owns. A $360,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Bentley GT Speed, worth $220,000 two Aston Martins, a $1.7 million Bugatti Veyron, and the most impressive of all, an $8.5 million limited edition Bugatti Ciento Dij. They have only been 10 made in the world, and they can go from 0 to 60 in just 2.4 seconds. Wow, this is amazing. Well, in addition to owning his cars, he does have two more expensive vehicles, private jets. His first, a Gulfstream G200 business jet reportedly costing him a whopping sum of $19 million, but he didn't stop with just one jack. He needed the biggest and the best. And with a record like his, can you blame him? I guess no. So he went on to purchase a Gulfstream G650, which cost him a startling $64.5 million, the Gulfstream G650 is often cited as the best private jet on the market, and I have to agree that this jet is capable of seating eight passengers. The jet can be customized to fit the owner's needs, however necessary, and whenever Cristiano is jetting off to Greece, China, or the United States, as he's been known to do, this guy loved doing it in style, along with his cars, jets and homes, Cristiano isn't shy spending his money on clothes and watches, in fact, he owns one of the most expensive watches ever made by Rolex, a Rolex GMT Master Ice, which retails for an astounding $485,000. The watch is set with 30 carats of diamonds, and made with 18 carat white gold. He's also been spotted wearing a $160,000 Jacob Co. watch, and a canary yellow diamond ring, which is valued at $261,000. So there you have it, the wealth of Cristiano Ronaldo, and what exactly he spends his money on. So what do you think of his purchases? And what will you do with this kind of money, if it's being given to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this sports content about the luxurious lifestyle of Cristiano Ronaldo, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to Highest Luxury Channel for more amazing content just like this one. Thanks, and I will see you all in the next video.